have a problem. His name is Lucas, Lucas Beinecke, and I'm in love. That's right, little Wednesday Adams, that charming, irrepressible bundle of malice who would poison her own brother for a ride in the ambulance, has grown up and found... Love. So, who is this Lucas fella? I mean, is he really worthy of her? Do they really love each other? What is love anyway? Does this rash look serious to you? So many questions about love. But, when, when you, you think, think about, about it, it, is there anything more important? I don't have a sunny disposition. I'm not known for being too amused. My demeanor's locked in one position. See my face, I'm enthused. Suddenly, however, I've been puzzled. Bunny rabbits make me want to cry. All my inhibitions have been muzzled. And I think I know why. I'm being pulled in a new direction. But I think I like it. I think I like it. I'm being pulled in a new direction. Through my painful pursuit, somehow birdies took root. All the things I detested, impossibly cute. God, what do I do? Hold. Fly away, little birdie. Dogs with droopy faces, unicorns with dancing mice, sunrise in wide open spaces, Disney World, I'll go there twice, butterflies and picnic lunches, bunches of chrysanthemums, lollipops and pillow fights, and Christmas Eve, sugar plums, chamber tents and chia pets, and afternoon banana splits, people's watching me as I sleep, and Liberace's greatest hits. tonight. Now, here's the schedule. First, we'll have drinks, like, hi, nice to meet you. Hi, hi nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, okay, and then they'll want to see the house, and then we can have dinner at 8, and they'll be back at their hotel by 9.30. So, dinner it is. Drinks, dinner, and then the game. Oh god, please no, not the game. But it's a family tradition. It's my dinner. It's my dinner. Dinner, and then the game. And can we at least all act normal? Define normal. Normal is an illusion, darling. What's normal for the spider is a calamity for the fly. Mother, please. They're normal people, not like you, not like me. Please, can't we be an average family? One normal night, that's all I want, that's all I need from you. One normal house without a mouse to feed a plant or two. You have to swear to me, as promised to the car. It's almost six o'clock, they're almost at the door. On all the Adam's ancestors who've ever walked around. One poem, not one inspiring word. One normal scene, complete routine. Tonight can't be absurd. Please don't embarrass me or be completely rude. Don't 
make a fuss about the house, about the food. Whoa, one more night, oh, it's big. Can't you see this one normal night is for me? But but they're not right for each other. What do you mean they're not right for each other? Was Napoleon right for Josephine? Were the 80s right for the drum machine? Was Nausea right for Dramamine? Who's to say? Who's to say? Was ballet right for Balanchine? Was polio right for the soft vaccine? Was America right for quarantine? Who's to say? Just be respectful, don't make an off remark. Okay, okay. Keep on intactable, our passion for the time. Just as you say. And then it's paradise right, right. here. Mal Beinecke. Uh, this is my wife, Alice. Uh, and this is my son, Lucas. Um, and you are? Your pardon? Mal, be open to experience and welcome in the new. Reach deep in your surprise bag. There might be a gift for you. Alice. My surprise bag is so full I could hardly lift it. Mr. Malcolm Beinecke, I presume, and the lovely Mrs. Malcolm Beinecke. And you must be young Lucas. Unless, of course, you are the father and, and you are the son with a, with a massive thyroid problem. <laughs> I, I, I'd go too far. Oh, the night, she is young. Welcome to our extremely normal home. Gomez Florencia Adams at your service. And uh, this is my wife, La Dueña, mother of my children, El Amor da Mi Vida, Morticia. Mr. Beinecke. Mrs. Adams. Mrs. Beinecke. Alice. Alice. And you must be Lucas. What a lovely name. Thanks. I'm named after my uncle Lucas, who got lost in the woods and ate his own leg. They don't need to know that. Oh, no, it's a lovely story. Hi, I'm Wednesday. What are you wearing? A dress. A yellow dress. Aloma, what happened? You look like a crime scene. Will you excuse us for a moment? It's a lovely yellow dress, Wednesday. Yellow is the color of the warming sun. Mom. Yellow is the color of yumminess and fun. Why not show the world the love in which we all believe? Why not wear your heart for all to see right on your sleeve? Yellow is- Excellent, excellent. A, a lovely sentiment about the color yellow. When I'm depressed or feeling blessed, a poem will get it off my chest. They come to me, they take no time. They just pop out and always rhyme. Maybe you should see someone about that. The ring on? Just for a minute? After. What if they hate each other? What if they don't? Be like me. Look on the bright side. You make me so crazy. Maybe you two should get a room. Pugsley! Hey, it's the Pugster. What's up, little man? Are you trying to be cool? Uh-huh. Because you're not cool. <laughs> well, your sister thinks I'm cool. We'll get over it. We're gonna go now. 
Wait! about it what are you doing restocking grandma's private stash herbs potions remedies nature's candy no prescription needed peyote we used to run around naked in the woods we got buccal leaf and what if all the good times are already behind me that's life kid you lose the thing you love yeah Oh, this is acrimonium. Be careful with that one. Takes the lid off the id, brings out the dark side, turns Mary Poppins into Medea. I don't understand your references. Well, stop the damn texting and pick up a book once in a while. Yeesh. Just a strange head. And now it's time to play the game. What kind of game? We call it Obligación de Revelar. Oh, Spanish! What does it mean? Full disclosure. Everybody sips. And confesses a secret they've never told anyone. Loosely based on the Inquisition. And you have to absolutely tell the truth. Or what? Or there are consequences. Let's hear from Fester. I am in love. Now, you're probably thinking, what could a skinny, frizzy-haired person with no specific sexuality know about love? But I, too, love Fester Loves. Oh, Fester, who is it? The moon. Yeah, that's normal. I haven't told her yet. Full disclosure. Wednesday, your turn. Well, as you can see, my wife isn't herself, so we'll be on our way. Sit your ass down. Alice, I think you've had enough to drink. Remember how it used to be now? How we just look at each other and leave the restaurant in the middle of dinner and rush home and go upstairs? And sometimes we couldn't even wait and you just pull the car over to the side of the... Like, enough, Lucas. Parents do it. Live with it. Remember now when we were crazy and the future didn't exist? What happened now? 
The guy with the Grateful Dead t-shirt. Is he ever coming back? How long do I have to wait? A woman waits for marriage. A woman waits for children. She waits for her big mouth to come back home. At five o'clock or six o'clock till it's nine o'clock and there's no o'clock to ease the pain pain she can't explain as the woman waits in the dark for a spark that once was there that isn't It's a little too dark, even for us. Okay, Adams, I tried. I thought, okay, the kids like each other. Let's give it a shot. But you people are insane. You've got a house where there shouldn't be a house, a zombie for a butler, and a man who is dating the moon. I wouldn't exactly say we're dating. We are simple people, Mr. Adams. We're not used to your sophisticated New York lifestyle. So with your permission, we're gonna go back to the real America, full disclosure. Lucas and I love each other, and we're getting married. What? Secrets exposed, marriages threatened, delicious anarchy. What happens now? Let's, Let's find, find out, out. Let's find out. Shall, we? Shall, we? shall we? We have to talk this over for a minute. Talk what over? We can't just run away and get married. You said it was important, everyone got along. And you said it didn't matter. But they want to kill each other. Do you really want that hanging over our heads? God, you sound just like your father. The root doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? The apple. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. God, you're annoying. You know what I think? You don't want to get married. You just said that to stick it to your mother. Don't psychoanalyze me, Lucas. It's a deep, dark hole, and you don't want to go there. Come on. What do we do for money? Stop being so scared of everything. Right, like you're not scared? I eat scared for breakfast. Let's go make some rational decisions. I don't want rational decisions. I want dangerous, impulsive, crazy decisions. Look, what? 
I can't do this. It's too crazy. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as you're going to be. I can be impulsive. I just need to think about it first. My daughter's getting married. I can't believe it's true. She doesn't ask her mother before she says I do. And how about my husband in constant naive? This evening's getting serious. These Ohioans won't leave. But I can't let these latest troubles rob me of my bliss. For when I'm scared of true disaster, I remember this. Death is just around the corner. Waiting patiently to strike One unplanned electrocution That's the kind of end I can comprehend When I'm feeling uninspired Or I need a little spree I'm reborn knowing death is just around the corner Coming after me Corner, get it? Death is just around the corner Life's all plums, I'll muddle through some, but when death comes, I hope it's gruesome. Hacha. Some people die from public stoning, faulty wiring, faulty zoning, cherry pits they didn't know were there. It could be by a jungle cat, a slippery bed, a baseball bat, perhaps an unsuccessful love affair. Could be by a speeding train, it could be underwater, it could be too much Novocaine, or even by your daughter. Perhaps a bad mosquito bite, a title fight, religious right. Why, darlings, it might even be tonight. Death is just around the corner. No one's ever been immune. Click, scandalously quick. I can face a new tomorrow if I make it past today. I feel good saying death is just around the corner, swiftly on its way. <laughs> I feel so dark. I feel so dead. All is black inside my face. <laughs> that one doesn't even rhyme. Got a problem with that? I didn't raise my son to be kidnapped by a bunch of creeped out spam. You didn't raise him, Mal. I did. You were at the office, remember? I was at the office for you. For him. I had plans for the boy. Mal, he's in love. Let him follow his heart. That's crazy. What's wrong with crazy? Crazy is underrated. <sighs> well, you better come to your senses, or I'm gonna have to take steps. Good idea. Why don't you start by taking steps outside? What? You wanna act like a tool? Go sleep in the shed. <sighs>
Wednesday. Daddy, would you please? No. This is what comes from keeping secrets. If the two of you wanted to get married, you should have... There's not going to be any marriage. No? He bailed. Oh, Paloma. I hate him. Well, it's a beginning. Something to build he on. He says he can't live without me, and then he lets me go. I love him. Why doesn't he love me? You just said you hated him. Which is it? Both. <sighs> now you've got it. Right or wrong, who's to say which we should refuse? All we know, love survives either way we choose. Here you are at the edge, go ahead and fall. Don't resist, I insist. Love still conquers all. It even conquered you, the adorable Attila. You had to go and grow up. You're cool with that? Yes and no. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling sad. A little child a little dad I think of all the days you've grown all the ways you've known see you on your own and then I'm feeling happy inside again I think I'm rested but then I'm tired Today requested Tomorrow fired And now a voice as he adores She who once was yours How can I ignore such news? I'm sad and happy, why should I choose? Life is full of contradictions Every inch a mile At that moment we stopped when we should smile It's like the bull when the matador puts the sword in his head and he says, nice job I hate you In every heaven, you find some hell, and there's a welcome in each farewell. Life can be harsh, the future strict. Who could dare predict? And the boy you've picked, not bad. So let's be happy, forever happy, completely happy, and a tiny bit
Yes? Look, I, I can't stand the idea of not being with you. Five minutes ago you could. No, the lover always comes back. See? Ulysses, Tristan, Romeo? Listen, I'm homeschooled. What's your point? I'd rather die than live without you. Cockroach. I can't sleep. Why not? There's no monster in the closet. I'm sure he's hiding someplace else. Mommy. Yes? Is Wednesday really gonna marry that guy? She might. Oh no. Make me feel better, Mommy. Life is a tightrope, my child. And at the end is your coffin. Better? Uh-huh. Thanks, Mommy. Now close your eyes or the monster won't come out to eat you up. the darkness 
and you'll know what's real. Toward the darkness and feel something old, something new, craziness writ large. Someone bold, someone true. Someone in charge. You and I.